Hey, well, hello there, fellow astronomers. Um, if you have a large Dobsonian, like this 10-inch uh, uh, Zumel, a Dobsonian I have, it's a great telescope for, for seeing a lot of things, but sometimes it can wear you out because you do have to move around a lot uh, if you're using it manually, uh, which this is one. That's the most affordable option. And uh, it can really wear you out, you know, trying to find, use a finder scope, trying to find a lot of different objects at night. Uh, and, you know, you can be limited. I mean, some people are really good at finding things, um, you know, moving through stars and the star hopping. I'm not real great at it. Um, so when I use it manually, I'm limited to how many objects I can actually find. Finding galaxies is a real challenge, even though uh, technically I should be able to find them. Uh, with the scope and when I get on them and I know I'm on them I can definitely see them but finding them is another thing so what's the solution to that there is one easy way to computerize this scope it involves spending a little money if you don't already have the equipment but I think it's well worth it if you're into telescopes you definitely should have a computerized mount anyway for a smaller telescope and that is the key so the key is having a smaller or a computerized uh, uh, mount and then you can have any small telescope on it. And then the very key is having a laser pointer on it. That's the key. So as you can see in the background, I have just a little small 80 millimeter uh, refractor. Um, and it's got a uh, laser point mounted on it. So let's take a closer look at this right now. And I'll show you what I mean. I'll show you how this can make finding objects with a big Dobsonian super easy. Turn it into a push to computerized model just like that. So here's the key right here, having a laser pointer mounted on a small little cheap telescope like uh, this little Orion here. Now I got the uh, laser pointer uh, mount here, bracket from Orion, and I'll put that in the description box below if you want to check the prices on Amazon. Uh, you can mount a laser pointer other ways than buying a uh, little laser bracket like this but it really does make it so easy because it fits right into the dovetail here as you can see so basically what you're going to do is you're going to use this telescope uh, you're going to get it aligned and then you're going to uh, have it go to an object that you want and then you're just going to turn on the laser pointer so the laser pointer will go up in the sky and uh, you'll just make sure it's centered properly on the object you want by looking through the eyepiece of the little telescope. Once that's done, then you switch over to your big Dobsonian, and all you do is you follow that uh, laser point right up with the eyepiece, with the uh, finder scope. So once you cross the laser with the finder scope, you just follow it up. And when you get to the end, you'll see it actually end and it should be right on the object. So then once you've got it centered in the finder scope, the end of the laser, then you simply look through your eyepiece and it should be right there. So it's really simple, um, really easy way. And you can really go through and look at a lot of objects in one night, unlike having to do it manually if you're not really good at uh, star hopping. So that's basically the way it works. I'm going to try to do uh, try to do a picture, a little video clip, uh, showing you what that laser pointer will look at at night, um, just to give you an idea. But you know, it's very bright. The one thing you do have to watch using a laser pointer like this is that you don't uh, have any planes in the area. If you see a plane flying in the area, you definitely don't want to have it on. You can get in trouble with the FAA. Okay, but other than that, it's really easy. So, a really easy tip. Instead of buying a computerized behemoth a Dobsonian that's uh, computerized, you can, you know, you can get a computer, have a computerized small telescope, and use it like that, and it will work just fine. Just follow the laser up with your Dobsonian finder, and you'll be right on it. So anyway, we've. See the laser, we follow it up with our finder. Uh, uh, scope, and then it will actually end when your finder scope follows it up. And once it ends, 
you check the eyepiece of the telescope it's mounted on, make sure the target is there. Unless it's a very faint object, then you just got to trust the computer. And then you just uh, take the finder piece of your Dobsonian and make and make sure it crosses paths with the laser and then follow that laser side up and it will work. Oh, there's another plane. So again, you see planes in the sky, you do want to turn it off. But anyway, that's how this works. I don't know how much you can see. There's a little light of the laser coming off there, but I don't know if you can follow it. Okay, well, I uh, hope this, you found this helpful. Uh, if you want to support the channel, just click on an Amazon link below. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, leave a message uh, below, and I'll try to get back to you. Hope this helps.